Hi, I'm Ira Spanierman, and this is Spanierman Gallery, and you're welcome here. We're at 45 East 58th Street, and we have before us Prelude to Spring by Peter Poskus, and we not only have the painting, but we have Peter Poskus himself. So, Peter, I'll introduce you to whoever's watching this on the video, and uh, let's talk about your painting. Okay, this is a relatively new farm for me, uh, new this year, actually. Although, uh, as in more, most instances, I've been looking at it for years and just waiting for what I call a transfixing moment uh, to happen that kind of makes me want to get a step farther involved with it. And in this case, it was the presence of the animals, uh, simply because the time of day I've been by it, they have not been out. And it's an aggregate herd of uh, not it's not one particular breed, but it's many. And that made it all the more interesting to me, rather than have this uniform, homogeneous Holstein herd. And so uh, I took the trouble to stop, and I've been stopping there off and on for two years before starting this painting at all. And winter uh, happens to be my favorite time of year simply because uh, the, with the snow on the ground, it opens up a lot of compositional windows for me. Uh, usually, in all the other seasons, you're basically concerned with a land mass and a sky mass, the land being dark, the sky being light. With the advent of winter, you get all the projection of the sky down into the snow as reflections and light. Peter. I love the way you handle the snow here, where on the wooden bridge, it's all crunched down because people have been walking on it, and otherwise it's sort of fluffy still and on the pathways and things, and you, you caught the light so beautifully, and the sense of distance so beautifully. I don't know of another artist, really, who can catch these things as Peter can, as painting now. I mean, he's a remarkable painter, and he visits all these farms in Connecticut, and also he paints on the Monhegan Island in the summertime. Uh, Peter, tell me, tell me that story you were telling before about a farmer whose land you wanted to paint. Oh, uh, it's one of my only refusals. Uh, there was this farm I'd been going by for years trying to warm up to it, and I finally got the courage to stop. And uh, my assessment of this farmer was he's a man of the earth. And so I told him about all my experience with farms. I'm very good about closing gates, not afraid of animals, leaving things as they are. And we went on and talked for probably two hours of various nearby farmers that we both knew in common. And finally, I said to him, I said, well, uh, having said all this, is it okay if I roam around your farm a little bit? And he looked at me and he goes, help. I don't care what you do, as long as you don't set foot on my place. Do all your work from the road. And that was the end of it. But tell me what he said then after. Oh, he's, uh, as a follow-up to this, I was doing this man of the earth thing. And he uh, very proudly told me, he says, you know, the only people I let set foot on my place was this advertising agency. And you see that beautiful apple tree across the road? They did the cool cigarette ad under that. And I got 500 bucks for it. So, <laughs> so, judgment. Uh, We'd have that picture right here today if you yes, only had $500 would. with you at that moment. With that apple tree, yeah, I'm right. sure. Well, anyhow, as you see Peter's work here, which is exquisite, we're going to have a, uh, an exhibition of his work. Uh, what are the dates? Uh, November 5th is the opening. Having a, a November 5th opening. Which is a Thursday. Thursday evening. And I assume it's up for the month. It'll be up for, be up for approximately a month. And we're sending out brochures, so if you'd like to have a brochure, just email us and we'll be happy to send you one. It's got a lot of illustrations in it.